Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, I'm Keaton, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys a few of the ways that I deal with college stress. I am currently a senior at Arizona State University. This is my new apartment. I live by myself, so a few of these things obviously are going to be very different depending on whether you live in a dorm, you live still at home, you're in high school, whatever. This doesn't even just have to be a way you can deal with school stress. This can be a way you can deal with, you know, anxiety, panic attacks, anything like that. These are things that I do that help me personally keep calm. So before I get too far into the video, I just want to say that this video is sponsored by Bed Bath & Beyond. So thank you so much to Bed Bath & Beyond for sponsoring this video. Everything from Bed Bath & Beyond will be listed down below in the description so you guys can go check it out down below when you're finished watching the video. And you guys can also sign up for the Bed Bath & Beyond membership. It's only $29 a year and it gets you free shipping plus 20% off. So don't forget to do that down below at the end and thank you to Bed Bath & Beyond for sponsoring this video because a lot of these things that I have that are keeping me calm are from them and they're a great part of my routine to just help me de-stress. So the first thing that I like to do when I'm a little bit stressed for college, getting a little bit of anxiety, is eat. I know a lot of people stress eat and you know what, that might be a way to cope with the stress and people say that that's bad. It's bad to stress eat, it's bad to eat when you're like having anxiety, whatever. So one of the things that I do when I am a little bit stressed out is I snack on things or I like to just have like a little smoothie or a little something to keep me calm and keep me happy. So I will show you guys a few of the snacks I like to have. One thing that's important is like if you're stressed and you're wanting a snack and you're just kind of wanting to like chill out, eat and like not think about things, is to eat healthy snacks and not like junk food. In my apartment, I don't really buy anything that is, I don't really buy candy, I don't really buy ice cream, I don't buy like hot Cheetos, I don't buy anything that I feel like I personally don't find healthy, so I like to snack on things that are a little bit different than just your normal casual stress eating, but I'll show you guys some snacks I like to eat. Um, my college stress snacks. These are my favorite snacks. If I have had a long, stressful day, school's going hard, I love to sit on my couch and I eat these. You guys might be dairy free, maybe you guys don't want this, but this is so freaking good to me if you guys have never had them. They're Parmesan, yeah, Parmesan cheese crisp and they're literally amazing. Another thing I like to have when I'm stressed is tea. This is the Puka Detox Tea, which I don't like as much as I like this one. I love this Puka 3 Ginger Tea. It is so good and I just really, really like it. It helps me calm down. I don't know, hot tea just really makes me feel better about my life. So those are the two teas I go to when I'm feeling stressed. Get home from class, sit down, make a hot tea. Um, I think this is the only thing that I have. This is my um, candy and sweets drawer. Um, yeah, as you can see, there's nothing in it. This is the only thing that I normally will snack on if I'm really feeling like I need something and it's cookie butter and it's bomb. So the next thing that I like to do to help me de-stress for school and whether I'm getting home from a long day or whether I have you know, a lot of classes, a lot of homework, and I'm just feeling really overwhelmed, I hope some of you guys can relate to this because I have always, always been this way. If you guys are like this, comment in the comments down below, but when I get really stressed out or I'm having anxiety or I'm overwhelmed, I have a lot going on, I like clean, deep clean my house like it is no one's business. I have always been like that since I was in high school, probably elementary school. When I was in elementary school, I used to write on my papers that when I grew up I was gonna be a maid because I loved cleaning so much. Like I legit, that was my life goal. Still love cleaning to this day. For some reason, when you have a clean house, you have a clean bedroom, you make your bed every morning, you vacuum, you sweep, whatever, you clean up your bathroom, it's like your mind feels clear. If you live in a messy environment, your mind is going to feel chaotic and just messy along with your environment. So one of my favorite things to do is just clean and I use these cleaning times, whether I'm doing the dishes, whether I'm mopping, whether I'm vacuuming, whether I'm making my bed or doing my laundry, I use all of that time to make it me time. So my favorite thing to do is just turn on a Netflix show or I'll turn on the show I haven't watched in a while. Currently, I'm watching Bachelor in Paradise. I am not caught up on it yet. So one of my favorite things to do is sit, do the dishes, watch Bachelor in Paradise. So I got a bunch of new products. <laughs> The things that I'm excited for are just ridiculous. I am so excited about this, but I got a bunch of new cleaning products from Bed Bath & Beyond, and you guys don't understand, like, 
this is what excites me now in life. Like, no, I don't care about anything else. I care about cleaning. So I love this brand. If you guys have ever heard of them, this is the Miss Myers Clean Day. I absolutely love this brand. I use it all the time, always have. My mom has always used it. So this is the Miss Myers Clean Day. They're all different. This one is the multi-surface concentrate. So this can help you. This is more for if you are mopping. So what you can do is like plug your drain. You pour this in, you dilute it with water before. You don't like just pour this on your floor or anything. You dilute it with water, get a mop. This is for if you're really going for that deep clean and you're really gonna mop your whole place. I also use this to wash my dishes. This is the Miss Myers dish soap. It cuts grease. And then I have um, these two candles. And so I love these. You can have a small, there's a small version and there's a big version. This is the lavender candle. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually light this candle. If you guys don't know, lavender is one of the most soothing scents. I have it in an essential oil, and whenever I feel stressed, I just bring it around with me. I'll just smell the lavender oil. I'll put it behind the ear, I'll put it on my wrist, and it smells really good. It calms me down. So I'm lighting this one. This one is a 35 hour burn, and this one is a 25 hour burn. So they last a long time. They really, really smell so good, and I just feel like lighting candles when you're stressed and you're just cleaning it makes everything better and then the next thing that i have from the miss myers clean day is this is the room freshener and so this can just be if you don't have a candle you can just spray this little guy in your room i like to do this when i come home because sometimes when i come home my apartment smells weird i don't know if it's because like when i go on trips and i come back i don't know if it's like Things are old in my fridge or my pantry or my fruits rotted or something, but I don't smell right. So I don't have time to just light a candle. So I like to just go around my apartment, spray this and it smells good. So that is the second thing that I like to do. So I'm going to do that currently right now. I'm going to clean up. I'm going to do the dishes. I'm going to mop. I'm going to sweep. I'm going to do the dang thing. I just started organizing and I'm about to throw away this box. I'm about to recycle it, but I just wanted to say that I told you guys I was looking for a little corner table right here. I'm gonna get something up here. I told you guys I was looking for something that I could put by my door and I finally found one. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond. I love it. Just got some gold detailing, little marble. I think it's perfect whenever I walk in. I just love the way it looks. I like to put my keys on here, my water bottle all that kind of stuff. I'm so glad because I really, really wanted something and it looks so cute here. But okay, yeah, now we're gonna recycle this. Everything's looking good now. I vacuumed, I swiffered, I picked up all my yoga mats and stuff, cleaned up over here and my kitchen is looking nice and clean. I love having a nice clean countertop. So yes, that is one of my favorite calming things to do, cleaning. So now I'm on to another thing that I like to do to deal with my college stress, and this has to be one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> Actually, probably is my favorite thing to do other than cleaning, but it is to take a bath. And if you guys don't have a bathtub, I'm really sorry that this maybe doesn't apply to you, but this is one of my favorite things to do. I lay in the bath, I have my little bath bomb, and I just watch YouTube videos. I like to just scroll on Instagram. Sometimes I'll just lay there and like think about my life. I don't know, I love baths. And so what we're gonna do now is take a nice calming bath. This is just like a time that you can take out of your day, whether it be morning, night, maybe you get home from class and you're like, you know what, like 
I need a bath, no one talked to me. Lock the door, turn the bathtub on, run the water, and just sit in there and just chill. You don't have to worry about the homework and all that kind of stuff that you have going. You just need to focus on yourself. And so that's what this whole video is kind of about. It's more just like ways to deal with college stress, in my opinion, are setting all those problems aside and dealing with your own emotions of anxiety and stress because really it all is in your head like a lot of the things that are stressing you out whether it be school grades classes friends whatever a lot of the problems are more built up in your head so taking the time for yourself that you need each day whether it be cleaning, whether it be, you know, cooking, whether it be taking a bath or whatever it is, it gives you a minute to just like de-stress everything that's going on. So we're going to get in the bathtub and yeah. Alrighty guys, I am out of my bath and I'm literally smiling so big because I'm so cozy and I'm literally feeling so relaxed right now. So this robe is everything. It's literally changed my life. You guys know I have had silk robes in the past that I've wore in videos. And I liked them, but they were always really, really slippery because they were silk and they never stayed on my body. So I could never really like walk around the house with them or like feel cozy in them. They're more just like for looks. This robe I got from Bed Bath & Beyond is the softest thing I've ever had in my life. I can't even express to you how in love with it I am. I've never had a really cozy robe like this. And so it's really changed my freaking life because now I can just walk around in this and be so soft and comfy and it's literally life changing. I'm going to show you guys. Oh my god, OOTD. Also ignore all the clothes on my bed. Um, I'm filming a realistic college outfits video. You guys have probably already seen it by now. If you guys haven't, go check it out. But look at my robe. This is a little... So, now that I'm done taking a bath, I'm going to get on to the next thing that I like to use and do to help keep me calm. So, a lot of you guys have been mentioning to me that I should try CBD. And I finally have. I honestly can't give you a very good definition of CBD. It's basically like weed without the effects of weed, except for like basically it makes you tired um, and makes you like want to go to sleep or it makes you kind of relax, but it doesn't make you like, I don't know, it just, I guess it just isn't supposed to make you like weed. I'm honestly not really sure because I don't smoke weed, but I do have CBD. So I picked these up from Bed Bath & Beyond. The pack that I got will be linked down below, but I basically got these three CBD oils right here. I have all my essential oils in my nightstand right here. I always keep them there because I like to use them before bed. So one of my favorite things to do is either, like I said, I love the scent of lavender, which is why I got all this stuff out there, lavender. It helps soothe me. So one of the things that I like to do is use my diffuser, which is right here. They also have diffusers at Bed Bath & Beyond, and so basically you can buy oils like CBD oils this one says energy the other one says sleep and then this one says tranquil so the one I used last night and what I use most nights is this one it is sleep um, and I will say I don't feel very heavy effects from using CBD oil in a diffuser I think that the main thing that most people use CBD oil for is you put it under your tongue or you drop it in coffee or you drop it in tea or something and it kind of helps soothe you relax you and it really does help you stay less stressed I eventually want to try a CBD pen because I feel like that would definitely help more than using it in the diffuser but I really like this one because it is for sleep and so this one actually I think has lavender in it yeah it has lavender in it which I really love so not only does it have the CBD in it but it also has a lavender so if you guys do struggle with you know anxiety stress I am not a doctor, I am not recommending anything. For me, personally, in my life, 
I do like using these essential oils and these CBD oils, um, but that's totally up to do up to you do your own research on it google it look it up um, but I will have this set the three um, oils that I use linked down below in the description along with everything else another thing if you guys are not really interested in the oils another thing that I like to do when I'm feeling stressed from school college and all that kind of stuff is take a nap or I go to bed really early I will try and go to sleep if I'm feeling super anxious Sometimes starting a new day really does a lot for you. I know that sounds kind of like weird, but for me, if I'm having a really stressful day, I've got a lot of schoolwork going on, I've got a lot of like sorority stuff going on, if I'm getting a lot of anxiety about things, sometimes I'm just like, I just want it to be tomorrow so I can just like go to bed and focus on this tomorrow. Like I don't want to deal with this today. So it'll be like eight o'clock and I'll be like, I can't fall asleep. And what I will do is take melatonin. So if you guys are not into CBD, obviously you guys um, can take melatonin. I'm not suggesting, recommending, whatever. I use the Nature's Reward Melatonin. This is a 10 milligram and this will basically just make you go to sleep I take one I think it recommends one yeah you take one 30 minutes before you go to bed and it basically just helps me fall asleep and stay asleep whenever I'm anxious or I'm having anxiety I often will go to bed and I'll wake up periodically throughout the night because my mind won't stop going so melatonin really helps me go to sleep and then stay asleep this is also from Bed Bath & Beyond so it will be linked down below but those are the things I like to do like at night or even during the day if you just want to take a nap put your little CBD oil in a tea or a coffee put it in the diffuser and knock out take like an hour nap and just refresh yourself so I love the fact that I'm just in my little robe I can chill with my little CBD all right so the last and final thing that I really like to do to help keep myself stress-free calm relax have some me time is listen to music listening to music is something that I really prioritize it might not be for everyone but for me whenever I'm really stressed out I literally leave my phone in my house and I just get in the car and play music and that's what I do it's just is one of my favorite things to do is just drive listen to music whether it be calming music rap music like EDM it's just like one of my favorite things is to just listen to music there's something about the power of music and I really feel like it helps you de-stress so look how cute my robe is oh my god guys okay anyway so if you guys don't know I have this record player it is here and it's beautiful and it's so cute and so I have all of these records normally I like to put on records because I feel like they're more calming so I have a bunch of them I just picked up this one this one is from Bed Bath & Beyond this is ASAP Rocky Long Live this is one of my favorite albums I legit love it don't know if it's the college stress vibe but if you guys are in college uh, Bed Bath & Beyond has so many different records so many different college things that you guys can go check out again they're gonna be linked down below but I picked up that one but one of my favorite albums to listen to is Amy Winehouse I love her I think her voice is just so beautiful and I really love her music so I'm gonna put some Amy on guys well I am just hanging out in my living room now I've basically done all the things that I really like to do either when I get home from school or whether I'm just trying to relax for a weekend and not really get worked up so I hope that some of these things helped you guys my number one thing is just to really spend time focusing on yourself instead of the work it's really really important that throughout school and throughout college and being thrown into all of this you feel so worked up and that you have to be on the go and doing all this stuff and working super hard which you should be but it's also really important to like take time for yourself take a bath every once in a while and just like relax or cook a meal you don't normally do or eat a snack and just watch TV instead of just constantly stressing yourself out and working yourself up and it's okay to do that and so if you guys are feeling overwhelmed don't forget that it's okay to treat yourself and take a break and take time for yourself and that's really what I want this video to be so thank you guys so so much for watching and don't forget to check out all of the Bed Bath & Beyond products that I have in the description below you guys can also again sign up for a membership from them it is only $29 a year 
and you guys will get free shipping plus 20% off. So don't forget to do that in the link down below. And also, if you guys are watching this video and you guys like me, don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys do, hit that red button right now down below. Comment in the comments down below because I'm going to be saying hi to each and every one of you who are new here to this channel because it really means a lot to me that you guys would stick around. I'm super thankful for you guys. And so it just means a lot. So don't forget to comment in the comments down below if you guys are a new subscriber or old. You just want to talk. Um, let me know. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.